All right, so we got the HK416 and 22. We're about to zero that with the right hand optic. I like these optics. Um, got them, when I got them, I got them for a good deal. Now they pretty much not on sale because I was looking for some more. But I got, I got a lot of them too when I got them on a deal. I want to say about 10, maybe 10 of them. But I like them, they zero easy. Uh, so far I had no issues out of them. So we got it on here, we're gonna zero this first. Then we got, finally got a thread, threaded adapter for it so we can test it out suppressed. We're gonna be using this Federal right here, some of this right here, and for subsonic this. So we're gonna get it zero first. I'm gonna probably just do that off a of camera, get it done real quick and then test the rest of it out. All right, so we got it zero. Pretty good. Um, I forgot how hard the trigger is on this one. The Smith & Wesson got a way softer trigger on it than this one. But I'm gonna do a full mag. Well, I wanna test these out, so I'm gonna switch to these. But we're gonna check the zero with this first again, and then we're gonna put the suppressor on. So now we're gonna load up some of this right here, this expert HV, see how that run. Then we're gonna go suppress. All right, so we got a full mag loaded up of that Winchester. That high velocity, they have a lot of sparks coming out the side. All right, so we run in, we got a few Federal on top, and then that Winchester, and we got the Yankee Hill Phantom 22 suppressor on. Let's see how that runs. Thing used to lock open. Probably don't. All right, so we got a full mag, a couple Federal in there, and then that Winchester. Yeah, that safety so hard. I th I'm not the safety. The trigger so hard. I thought it was on safe. Thank you. 
my shots and I'm gonna go off the chart. It looked like it was going to the left of you a lot. Yeah. Let's see some. Yeah, because when I was shot off paper, I was in the center and it went to the left a lot. that but I was just checking the zero two so I shot off the paper but um now we're gonna load back up because that's not something else yeah because if it ain't holding zero I don't know that's a, another topic but yeah we're gonna load back up uh no we're gonna load up these right here and see what these sound like and see if it runs all right so um we got supers first and then subsonics. It's gonna be probably about 10 supers. Getting loose. Oh, it is. Mm. Oh, shit. Glad you said something. Would have got a damn baffle strike. And I had that thing on there tight, too. Is that it? Yeah, that was it. Okay. All right, I'm going to load that back up again, try to get a different angle. But um, having a lot of accuracy issues. I don't know. I'm going to check this um, cleaner barrel out. Yeah, because, I don't know, We're, that's another video, another topic, but it's either going to be the barrel or this red dot. Alright, so we got another mag loaded up, probably about 15 subs on top, no, supers on top, and then the rest will be subs. Yeah, with my ear off, the sub's perfect. Mm -hmm. the, uh, these right here is, um, they got a little crack at the, right here, get a little crack on them, but it ain't, it don't pierce in my ear or nothing, but the, these right here, perfect. 
So next thing with this, like I said, we having some accuracy issues with this. I don't know if it's red dot or if it's barrel. We had this gun for a long time and shot a lot of rounds through it. So what I'm gonna do is when I get home, I'm gonna take it apart, clean it, check and see if, it, I don't know if this barrel comes with rifling in it, but I wanna check it. And, um, and I wanna check this trigger too. I wanna see if it could be swapped out or not. Um, I think it should, but it's real hard. It gotta be like seven, eight pounds. So, but these shots, we didn't adjust with this thing twice. So like I said, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna snatch this red dot off and bring this gun back out. Try another one. Cause if it ain't holding zero with 22, it's just probably something wrong with it. But right. that was two mags. I think these is 30s. And this is all the shots that's on paper. They going over here, there, some up here. So I don't know. I don't think it's that ammo because last time we shot this gun, we was having that same issue. But I wasn't sure what it is. So I mean, that's a whole nother topic. This video was just for the suppressor and it works good on here and the adapter worked good. Just gotta make sure you keep your stuff tight. Uh, this kind don't, you don't got no where you put a wrench on it. Uh, the adapter, I put a wrench on there, so that's on there good. But just, you just gotta periodically check when you are uh, shooting this. But I don't know if the camera gonna pick up different sound. But for my ear, it was pretty cool. And this stuff is 970 feet per second. I see your motivation. I see your movement is in effect. And I fucking love that shit. <laughs>